Hi, we're here at the Burgess Premier Small Animal Show. I've been joined by Matt the Vet. Hi, Matt. Hi there. And Matt's the Burgess Pet Food Vet, and he's going to talk to us today about the problems with rabbits related to nutrition. Hi, Matt. Well, rabbits and food is a big issue. There's no doubt that about 90% of the reason why rabbits come into veterinary practices is related to diet. And this is where a lot of the thinking behind what Burgess now does has come from. Burgess has set out to make a food that is high in fibre. Not only that, it's high in what we call beneficial fibre. That's containing the right sorts of fibre for rabbits to eat. You see, fabbit, rabbits are a bit unusual in that rabbits are what we call fibervores. They're obligate fibre eaters. They've got to take in lots of fibre. And if they're not doing that, then they start getting gut problems. And this is why they end up at the vets. People like to feed rabbits things that they like to see their rabbit eating. That's not necessarily good for their rabbit. So, let's, let's think classically. Rab people give their rabbits lots of carrots. That's very high in carbohydrate. That ends up giving rabbits gut problems. Think of Peter Rabbit in the famous books going along to McGregor's Veg Patch and eating carrots. He got stomachache, and yet people still load the carrots down their rabbits. So Burgesses have developed what is called the Excel feeding plan, which gives them all the right bits that they need to have a good and happy life. And from my point of view, as Burgess's veterinary advisor, we've been giving them a lot of advice on how to build this plan together so that the public can easily feed their rabbits correctly, give them better welfare issues, better emotional enrichment, a better life, and hopefully less vet bills. That sounds very simple, but it must be a lot more complicated. I mean, educating pet people isn't the easiest thing in the world to do, is it? No, you're absolutely right. It is not simple. And, and to be fair to Burgesses, there is an enormous research effort goes on behind the scenes with their technical department. I just come in at the end and do the all simple <laughs> stuff. But, but you're right, what we're doing is developing education programmes for the public, for the vets, for veterinary nurses, at, at, at uh, big congresses like this, so that people understand and get the message that actually rabbits eat fibre, rabbits eat grass and hay, and that's what they should do. That's pretty boring, and people struggle with just doing that. Yeah. But actually the rabbit's happier when you do do that. Um, and so it's getting that message across but also is getting across all the other things that they can do to make sure that their rabbits have a better life and that aren't sitting in a hutch in the end of the garden. Yeah. So it's, it's not just about the diet. The diet's a massive part of a rabbit's well-being, but, it's, but, but Burgess are trying to educate the pet owner into all aspects of pet ownership. The diet's just one facet. Absolutely. Exercise, lifestyle, yeah. Yeah. care and attention, yeah. all those things that go into Let, Let's get this in perspective here. There are over 2 million pet rabbits in the UK. Down south of England, they're overtaking the cat as a pet. Right. It's an enormous number we're talking about. If cats or dogs were kept in cages in the garden and treated the same way that rabbits are, then there would be an outcry yeah. from the RSPCA, from everybody else. But because it's just a rabbit, well actually guys, come on, it's just a sentient, it's a mammal, it's got nerves, it's got feelings, it's got behaviours. Yeah. It's just that we're only just now catching up with understanding about them. And so there's a big drive. What we're working at Burgess Pet Care to do is to move that rabbit to be a closer member of the family. They make really good pets indoors, in the house. You can litter train them, right. you can play games, you can train them. It's great fun. Let's get them as part of the family. You'll get more from having a rabbit, and the rabbit will have a much better quality of life. And I think that's what we've seen here today at this show particularly, is it's not just about how good the rabbit looks. We've seen the Rabbit Grand National. We've seen rabbits Absolutely. actually in action, which is phenomenal, and the jumps they jump are phenomenal. Enormous, aren't they? Extraordinary yeah. heights. And this is just an indication of some of the things that you can do with it. And it's going to be such fun in years to come when you have got, you know, national, regional competitions of things like this and so on. I, I think the rabbit is really taking off as a pet, but it's only going to take off a pet if we do it well. And that's where Burgess Pet Care, they're really working so hard to try and have a wraparound looking after of the across. Yeah. And Burgess Pet Care also spend a lot of time teaching at pet shops, uh, going out to, to other areas, at conferences and things like that. Yeah. So it's all about getting that message across. Well, I think it's fantastic. I think it's a, a, a fantastic show this weekend. I think it's great that Burgess are taking their responsibilities so seriously. And it's been really nice to speak to you, Matt. My Thank pleasure. you very much for Lovely your time. You. And right. you. Bye -bye.